Hi, these are top tips and tricks of your Redmi Note 14 Pro. Let's start with my personal favorite, which is always on display. To find it, open settings, choose wallpaper and personalization, and now simply tap always on display. So as a first step, we can enable it by tapping on the switcher. After that, we can go in display items. Here, enable to turn off when battery saver is on, or you can disable it here. And then you need to choose theme. So for example, let's select this one. After that, you can also change text color and add such displayed items as battery and notifications. And now just tap button apply and let's check this. I'm gonna lock my phone. And here's always on display. Let's unlock the phone again, go back. And here we can actually change wallpaper. So there are many options. You can also go in online wallpapers. And also here you can add some filters. For example, you can add this depth effect like that. And you can apply it and set as your current wallpaper. And in fingerprint effects, we can actually change animation. So we got many options here, but I prefer this one, Dream, or this Iris. So just choose any option, lock your phone, and now when you'll try to unlock it, you'll see this cute animation. Let's move on to the next setting, which would be battery. So in battery, we can go in charging options and here we can enable speed up charging if you want to charge your phone faster. But in that case, it can lead to overheating. So just choose whether you want to enable fast charging or not. And after that, let's choose battery protection. And here I suggest you to choose this battery protection option to extend battery life because your device will stop charging when battery level reaches 80%, which is really helpful. The next thing I want to show you is placed in this security app. So let's open it. And here we can find boost speed. So as you can see, we got this amount of cash, which we can clear and boost speed. So just tap blue button boost speed and it freed up 2.8, 2.5 gigabytes for me. And now my device is 29% faster. So let's just go back and here we can also find deep clean option so you can delete videos and install some files clear apps delete big files and delete photos here you'll see amount of gigabytes or megabits which you can free up with the help of performing that actions for example, I can delete those files and for that tap blue button and then tap OK. Now let's go back in settings and here go in display and brightness. So from here I can enable sunlight mode to adjust brightness to strong ambient line to prevent the screen from going too dark during the sunny weather. And also I suggest you to enable auto brightness. So the brightness of your display will adjust depending on the lightning around you. Also, we can simply speed up animations. So we can get fast animations. And for that, we need to stay in settings and then find this about phone tab and tap seven times on this OS version to enable developer options. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In your case, you should see information that now you're a developer, but in my case, developer options was activated. So to find it, go in additional settings and here it is. 
Now from here we would need to find interesting tab which is named window animation scale also transition animation let's just go through the list to find it because we got many options and developer options so there are just many features and here it is now in window animation scale in transition animation scale and in animator duration scale we can set everything to 0 0.5 for faster animations, just like this. They will become faster, more smooth, and you'll notice the difference really fast. As you can see, everything opens and closes really fast now. So in same additional settings, we can find one-handed mode. Let's enable it. And now we can turn it on by swiping left or right from the center of the navigation panel. So let's try this out and here it is. Now you can easily use your phone with just one hand and to exit it just swipe up from the bottom or tap anywhere above the app. So what else we can find here is floating windows. And now we can enable this sidebar. So this line now appears on the screen and you'll find a list of necessary apps and files. For example, from here you can easily open calculator in this floating window. Also, we can open Google Chrome and now we got two floating windows and one just main screen. So basically we can use like free apps at the same time and tap on three dots to close those windows just like that and the next thing i want to show you is located in notifications tab so here we can actually hide notch just choose this option and here you can hide without moving status bar so this is how your display will look now or if you choose don't hide, this is what you get. So with hide option, it will become like smaller. And now let's go back in main settings. The next thing is located in this home screen and in arrange items in recents. So here you can actually blur app previews. So you can select apps for which previews will be blurred in recents. So you can simply blur apps, for example, your banking apps, which is really useful for protecting information. So just find app you want to blur in this list. For example, let's blur, I don't know, Google Chrome and enable it by tapping on the switcher. Now let me just open it and now let's open recents. As you can see, now I cannot view content of my Google Chrome in recents tab because it is blurred. So this is really cool feature for protection. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like and comment. And I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.